is a Porsche 911 997.2 Carrera S in the view of my room here welcome to Singapore we're going to meet with a lovely gentleman named Iman Iman he's from Tampines Tampines here in Singapore we're gonna meet his we're gonna see his Audi and we're going to check if we can do a fitment engineering management swap on it. I'm speaking quietly because it's already evening time here. Back in Singapore, we are going to meet a good friend. Here he is. <laughs> How are you, dude? So our good friend Iman here from Singapore. Hello, brother. So he already showed me the car. Let's just do another introduction. He's gonna air out the car. The car's already bagged, and I'm not sure if we're actually allowed to film here, but we're here already. So wait, lang, Iman. I think you need to move the car forward because there's like a, a hump there. This is very interesting because he's using an ST suspension that's actually converted to bellow bags or air struts in our terms. It's an Audi A4 B8, okay? So his problem right now is he wants the front to drop a bit lower. Right here. That's a finger gap, which is 15 millimeters or around 20 actually. Let's actually check if your axle. So this is something interesting. This A4 is actually an all wheel drive. The engine is actually mounted longitudinally. So it does not look like the ones from the A3 that we did before. So we're gonna check underneath the car. If the axle is already hitting the chassis, if the axle is hitting the chassis, there's no more going down, but Fingers crossed. So wrapping this up, we're gonna go for a test drive. Um, I'm gonna show you the system later. He has a knocking sound here. Let's try to pin down what's happening to his car. And I'm going to sponsor him and Air suspension management kit, our fitment management kit. Is that okay with you? <laughs> because, okay, fine. Let's just show him the system. Na. What's the man management system? It's called down? Down air suspension. Down air suspension. Okay, down air suspension is actually very, very similar to our first gen and second gen fitment management system. The reason why I said that is because it's actually still using a mechanical pressure switch, which actually failed when he was going here, going down, <laughs> backing up here. So his pressure switch is actually stuck in an on state. So that's why I pulled out the pigtail muna so that we can actually, you know, not overcharge his compressor and probably break the compressors. So that's why I told him, we used to use this before. And that's one of the weak spots of this type of system when you're actually using a mechanical pressure switch. Well, it's gonna fail at one point and you're gonna have this problem that he has. Problem is, where will he get it here in Singapore? In the Philippines, we have so much, but here, where will we get it? So that is one downside for the down air suspension management system. And we're gonna change that to a fitment air management system and hopefully relay out his system. We can use your compressor, we can change to a bigger tank and then just mount it somewhere else. The battery is here for the A4. Very interesting battery placement. Not like the, it's like a Chevrolet Camaro. Camaro's here as well. All right, okay. Let's take it for a spin. Let's see that knocking sound that you're being annoyed at. <laughs> okay, this is the weirdest part of my experience so far immediately is, where's the fucking steering wheel? <laughs> so if you don't know, Singapore is actually a uh, right hand drive country because of the British colonization so they adapted it from British yep. yeah right so just like you know Japan you're lucky if you can import a car from Japan here 
can directly use it already. Iman, this is your down air suspension controller. Very, very similar to airlift actually. The way, the size and everything is actually airlift. So it's a rebranded airlift controller. But the thing is, they're not using the full system of it. All right. So let's see. We're going to discuss more of that later. I think you're good. So forgive me, Iman. My camera gear is not with me. I did not plan to vlog here in Singapore. So driving in Singapore. How's driving in Singapore, brother? The roads are good. The roads are nice. Yeah, and there's less traffic. Well, for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> So what have you done with the car mechanically besides an exhaust? Um, besides the exhaust, uh, intake. Yeah. I changed to full ECS uh, tuning intake carbon with the carbon um, engine cover. Uh, the ECS carbon struggle. Uh, yeah. Mostly aesthetics for now. How is the price of modification here? Is it as worse as the car price or not as much? No, it's, not, it's definitely not as much as the car price. So you can say that once you get a car here in Singapore, modding it is easy. Modding is... Affordable. Affordable, yeah. I wouldn't uh, say cheap. Yeah. And I wouldn't say crazy expensive as well. So it's, so it's, it's on the affordable it's side. Fine, yeah. The problem is, who's going to do it for you, right? Is the number of modders here or the builders here? Mm, mostly, uh, we go to generic workshops around Singapore. There's plenty. There's plenty among uh, areas. The east side is Kaki Bukit. Oh. Yeah, we need more time here, no? I'm okay with this. Sin Ming, if I'm wrong. Yeah. There's plenty of places that can install all these uh, parts. That's a Mini Cooper. I see a lot of 911s here. That's, a, that's, that's the only car I'm looking out for here in Singapore because I'm a big, yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of Porsche. <laughs> so I'm like, hmm, will I be able to see Porsches? And immediately when I arrive here on my parking slot there, on my parking area there, there's a 911 Turbo S Cabriolet. And that's a very expensive car in the Philippines and they have it here. I was like, holy shit, this guy's stopped. Because that's probably three yeah, times the price. price. Yeah. yeah. All right, Iman, thank you for bringing me out here I owe you a drive in the Philippines I told him already when this guy visits in the Philippines we're gonna bang some cars there so he's saying that you know there's more people modifying cars here than we know especially before pandemic I actually was wrong because in the first part of the realization or like me speculating before I thought Singapore doesn't have a car scene or very small he said this it's big and we actually have an EG behind us <laughs> <laughs> Actually a really really mint EG But yeah, I am shy I'm gonna go back into this perspective view of videoing I, It's not my turf If it's in the Philippines, <laughs> like ah, Yeah, dude But yeah, anyway We're gonna work on this car When are you free? Whenever you are, man uh, Whenever I am, okay Is it weird that I'm putting stickers here? No, it's not no. There we go. Thanks, man. Alright. So, me and Iman actually installed the fitment sticker right there. Take note, we have not worked on this car yet, alright? The reason why we put that there is a sign of. How do you call it in English? I'm coming back for sure. I'm gonna do this car. And what we're going to do for him, we're actually going to change the management system from the down to Fitment. So I'm going to sponsor him a management system and he's going to help me introduce Fitment here in Singapore. Will you be willing to do that yeah. now? All right. Part one is technically seeing the car, assessing it, and I know what to do for now. We have a plan. We have an accommodation here. It's going to be easier for me to go back here and I'm going to get back up. Because we're going to change the host lines, management system, layout, and he's going to show off what we can do with the air suspension we have in the Philippines. He's going to show it off here in Singapore. 
and probably get some Malaysian friends as well yep. so that they can actually see what we can do as well and what we can give to them but for now I would probably focus on his personal build first and then after that the business talk Iman do you want to say something about how is it how's the stick he said he doesn't put stickers on his car but <laughs> yeah, do you like this one all right this works. this works really well indeed anyway brother let's go rest yep. thank you so much i'm just gonna do the outro later but for now let's drive again yeah it's gonna die so anyway we're back in the tower thank you iman hi man for thanks guy for bringing me over here so we just dropped the car for one last we're gonna drain my battery and let's see what we can do with our car we already diagnosed everything more picks more picks